Good morning. Our daily dose of good news for June 9th is from Psalm 29. And there's tons of imagery in this. So I wanted to encourage you to simply see how it makes you feel and notice what words jump out at you. Ascribe to the Lord, O heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength Ascribe to the Lord the glory of his name. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord over mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord flashes forth flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord causes the oaks to whirl and strips the forest bare. And in his temple, all shall say glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forever. May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. Here ends the reading. When I read this, immediately I noticed all of the physical imagery that happens on the earth. Whether that is shaking or whirling or thundering or flashing, it reminded me of a big thunderstorm or an earthquake or a whirlwind or a typhoon or a hurricane. All of those natural actions that evoke feelings of strength and power and of God being able to do whatever God wants because God is that mighty. And in the descriptions, I was struck at how much it proclaimed God's glory. Glory is said at least three times. And all of this is about evoking kingship and majesty and might and splendor and I think kingship is a little tricky for us to understand in the U.S. because we don't live with that. But this is a king in all goodness, in all glory, in all splendor, in all might. This is a king who is wonderful, who is the essence of everything you would want in a king. This is not a king who's unfair or who is... A tyrant or is out for only the king's well-being. This is a king who wants to give to his people strength and wants to give to his people peace. And in being present with that king, you're around splendor and majesty. And it's a beautiful thing. So, I think that's a great thing for us to think about today. As I know Carol Stewart is still on people's hearts and we actually just got word that Hugh McGurdy has joined the church triumphant as of last night. So these are people you love as well as people who have joined the church triumphant earlier this year. And that is painful and sad for us in how we miss them and how important they are to us. And yet I encourage you to remember and hold intention at the same time while we miss them and while we mourn for them here on earth, they are around majesty and they are around splendor and beauty and might and the glory of God, just the flat out glory of God shining all around them. They're part of that with God now. 
our beloveds are in that glory. Strength to you, peace to you from that God who loves you. God's peace, everybody. Have a good day.